Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascender Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you oh, lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in on the appearance of white light and pray that you stay and reside only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay, as I have said, uh, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, so you know, um, <laughs> there is a woman. So this is going to be like a, a crazy read because like, honey, it's just too much going on. There's a man out here. He was in a relationship with, of course, you know, a woman. And from what I'm getting, you two really did care about each other. Um, but, you know, as in all relationships, as it happens, whether you're just uh, together on, and maybe you're married, you know, relationships, they have their downs and ups. They have their, you know, in-betweens and things like that. So you, the masculine, you and this woman were together. Something happened where it like became some type of long still made between the two of you. Um, something, I think you're older than the woman. Um, something happened where it's like you two went from like working together, being on the same page, something like that. Um, and it went to just like a stalemate. And I think you two do have a kid together or children together, whatever this is. Um, you were approached by a karmic group, a cult, and you accepted the bribery from them. The way these people approached you was orchestrated. OK, it was orchestrated. And I think I did a read a couple, not even a couple, maybe that four or five reads ago where I was talking about how, you know, uh, uh, karmics, how they plan things like they will come in your life. They see that you're happy. You're not necessarily rich, but maybe you have someone that loves you and they're not happy that you have someone that loves you. And because they don't have that in their life, they'll go out of their way to destroy what it is you have. It, something like that was orchestrated around a man, around a man. You all know my Liberian English. We don't be pronouncing everything through. Something was orchestrated um, and a man was not aware of it. You were approached by an organization. They sent one person to you and this person um, pay you to turn your back on someone. And you did that, Right. You are having one night stands and this woman, we have seen you because the person you left, um, I saw as a high priestess. So they will have seen you when you were having this one night stand. Um, maybe you didn't know, for example, for me, um, I dated people where, and this is part of the, this is the part of mine, like gifts and stuff that can be a little bit of a hindrance for me because oftentimes before people do things, I'll see it in a dream. Um, so it's like I'm living something twice. Um, and sometimes my ancestors have a wicked sense of humor because they want me to learn the lesson. It's like they'll show me something twice and then I'll experience it in real life. So it's like, really, do you re did you really have to do that? But you know what? There's a purpose in everything they do. So I just kind of go along with the flow. Like I got a joy. Like I got a choice, folks. I don't. <laughs> Anyways. There is something where it said you stepped out on the woman you were with and who I'm picking up on is a high priestess. They would have seen you before you even had the one night stand. When you had the one night stand, there could be like a woman either that says she was pregnant by you or is saying she's pregnant by you. There's something like that. What I'm picking up on is that someone has blackmailed you because now that the truth is out, that you actually turn your back on someone that cared for you. Um, someone is blackmailing you that if you go towards this woman to have some type of new beginning, she's going to expose everything that you did. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of just get into everything you did so we can free you from this bondage because this is what karmics do. This is what covens do. This is how they get a hold of people and bind them so that they can never leave. What they say, if you leave, I'm going to, I'm going to go expose you. 
If you leave, I'm going to go and tell this person, I'm being told not to judge you. It says no judgment. So I'm just going to tell exactly what it is that you partook in, what these people do behind the scenes so that you can free yourself. So you don't have to be binded to someone. Um, because I don't know if you sign like a physical contract or you made some type of verbal agreement, but you know, soul contracts can be uh, verbal or paper. So if you sign something or you made some type of verbal agreement, you are, you know, in some type of contract with those people for however long, um, you agree to, but what you did, basically you, you had a one night stand. It turned into something else. I don't know if the woman got pregnant, had a baby, told you the baby was yours. It's a possibility. The baby may not be yours. You need to go and look into that. Um, if it is yours, just make sure you two have some type of agreement that comes into play. Um, and you know, you can do your part. She does her part. You need to take care of that child. If it is yours, don't turn your back on that child. Cause I guess something about you, there's something about your background when it comes to children, you need to fix that. Okay. Um, secondly, you accepted a bribery from a cult of organization that this woman may be attached to or something like that. Um, that you are now a part of, but you don't want to be a part of it. There's something that's telling me this woman told you the woman you cheated on, you know, the woman that was down for you and things like that, the one you cheated on, this woman would have told you before all of this was playing out that you were headed down the wrong path. And that when everything came to show, everything was backfiring, coming back to this woman, she said, coming back to me, is not an option. Okay. That's what this woman told you. And now you're trying to come back. No, 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 no. I don't think this woman has any hatred or anything like that against you. It's just that someone is moving forward with their lives. With their, I said lives. So there's a few high priestesses going through this. Okay. They're moving on with their lives. Okay. So you don't have the baby. You don't accept that the bribery. You went and evade, had these people invade this woman's life. Telling all kinds of stuff that a lot of them weren't even true, giving them access to information and stuff they shouldn't have, has someone being spiritually monitored, physically monitored, letting people into this woman's home to watch her while she slept at night because this is how obsessed these people are with a feminine energy, which is so bothersome. And you thought, no, this woman didn't know. Someone was guided by their ancestors to stay calm and shut their mouth until they could get them out of the situation they were in. Because there's something where when this whole thing started, I think started going on, they would have told her, hey, it's time to leave. You, you need to start uh, leaving. You need to start prepping to leave. Get out, get out, get out. Someone would have started having dreams because I, what I'm doing is trying to kind of see things, the, see things through her eyes the way possibly it will go for me since I'm myself and my high priestess. They would have basically told this woman, you need to get out. It's time to get out, right? She will have at this time, like the protection around her will have started getting a little bit health heavier um, because someone is already heavily protected by the universe. But because of what you did or you in this group tried to do to someone, their protection was amped up. OK, so this would have been like past loved ones all coming together to make sure someone was protected. This would have been that you are trying to attach some type of Jesse Bell or demonic energy to someone. Their ancestors would have stepped in. There's a whole lot that you agreed to. You agreed to have someone sacrifice and you thought they didn't know the whole time they did. You even collaborated with this group of people to have someone have some type of legal issues coming up, get them caught up in jail, to have them on a life and things like that. You basically offer, I'm hearing soulmate. You offer your soulmate up on the chopping block so people could take her out. And now it has backfired. And again, you were warned. You thought you had made some type of good choice. They gave you money. You said you were accepting the money. You were, you were down for whatever it is they were asking you for. You lie a whole lot. You were content when someone was being isolated. You betrayed someone heavily. And you knew the whole time you were doing all of this stuff, the person you were doing it to was genuine. That's the whole thing about this. This woman is like as authentic as it gets. But you are out here collaborating with a group of people to take someone out that never had any ill intent for you. Maybe when someone was going through this period with you all, maybe they weren't as awoke as they are maybe today or whatever this is. But this woman, from what I'm seeing, never had any uh, wicked intentions for you. Like someone actually liked you. 
okay and i don't know maybe you're not accustomed to women actually liking you you're accustomed to women using you for things or just playing pretend playing on your emotions or whatever this is you you may have a child with another mother another woman mother a uh, baby mama whatever this is that's trying to hold on to you hold you hostage you i don't know what like this is just too much too much but there's a girlfriend that you are with now that's part of this organization that is blackmailing you that if you try to go back to the per person you uh what you you deceive and try to have sacrifice that she's going to expose you honey look listen here you raggedy jizzy bell insecure i gotta do whatever i can to keep a man because it's gonna hurt my ins my uh insecurities my ego if he leaves me for this earth angel or, or he, if he goes back to his ex listen 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 jizzy bell you're raggedy raggedy low vibrational insecure sorry excuse of a woman that woman knows she knows it ain't nothing you got on that man that that woman don't know there is nothing. There is nothing. When I say she knows everything, she knows. A sister knows more than you all think she knows. Okay? She knows. You're trapped in your mind. Like, this woman know everything you all are trying to do. You're all confused over the place. And this is, this is going to be you when you watch this message because you'll be watching. I know you're on the channel. Why are you all out here after a high priestess? You're out here confused. The whole organization is confused. The whole organization is confused. Right? Dang. What in the world? And then side note, there's a woman on my platform. You keep going to other tarot readers to get readings on me and things like that. You're trying to know what it is going is going on in my life. And my ancestors are out here, what? Causing blockages for you. Still, may say you don't need to see none of that. You've gone to quite a few high priestesses to get a reading on me. The first one you went to was a queen of wands, queen of cups, high priestess. Lovely young lady. I watch her channel from time to time. Very gifted. How you doing, honey? I don't have any type of animosity to towards you all. None whatsoever. Okay? None whatsoever. Because I know you probably didn't know who you were dealing with. Okay? But you've gone to... Yeah, she put an end <clears throat> to giving you insight on who I am. She said, no, 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 no. I'm done with that. I'm done. Because something was illuminated to her about who I am. She had some type of revelation that I am actually genuine. But you told her stuff in a way where it made it seem like I wasn't. Anyways, the sister said she don't want to work with you anymore. Tower, she said, this is the end. Uh -uh. She said, I can't help you. Okay, I don't know what else you want me to say. I can't help you. <laughs> Oh, it did what you hopped from there and went where to a queen of swords, queen of cups. She ain't gonna help you either. That lady's been doing her practice for a long time. Now, I saw her when she was looking into my energy, but she ain't gonna tell you no lie. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> I swear, some of my fellow uh, practitioners, they're so funny. Like, <laughs> that woman is bombastic, so eyeing you. Like, like, this is one of these sisters. And you go to her for a read, she's side eyeing you like, hmm. Like, she, be, she, she is on it. You're out here trying to find out if someone is LGBTQ, RTUSV, whatever the heck. Part of the alphabet community is a man coming. Girl, that woman is bombastic, side eyeing you. Like, is she happy? Is he going back to her? Is he doing this? Is she, does she know? Yeah, that woman is like, oh my gosh. What the heck is this? <laughs> she said, what the heck is this? Oh, she knows what the heck it is you've been doing. She knows what you were doing. She, she, she read you a mile away. She said, oh, this is one of those. I don't want to be part of these. Uh, she knows your way down. <laughs> She's, I swear. These sisters. <laughs> and then you went to a third one. She said, she, 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 like, she made it real short for you. <laughs> she said, oh, honey, you lost that battle already. Hey, let it go. <laughs> <laughs> She said, I just 
just let it go. Yeah, it's been balanced out. <laughs> Whatever you're trying to prevent is going to happen. This is the judgment of the ancestors. <laughs> she told you. <laughs> she said, I don't got time for this. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't got time for this. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you know it's crazy, right? Lord, maybe they didn't know you were spiritually monitoring per someone, invading someone's privacy and things like that. Anyway, th this is the, f yeah, honey, you, they know now what you were doing. It's a tower for everybody. But that third lady you went to, she said, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't got time for this. I don't got time for this. You need to let this go. You already lost this battle. <laughs> but the funny thing is like, as a uh, practitioners, when people go to get reading on us, like we we be knowing like the spirit, like the spirit realm. When they f with you, f with you. They'll tell you, be like, hey, someone is getting readings on you. Hey, this person is looking into your energy. They're pulling on you. Hey, hey. I'm like, hey, I, I thank you. Can you keep them out of my energy, please? Cause I don't want no problems. <laughs> I don't want no problems. I, mean, I just be out here minding my business. You know, you're here. You come with your jealousy. Is, is he? Is he going back to her? Why are you out here trying to defeat someone just because what you're being rejected, feeling all way down and burdened because what someone is pushing through, someone is disciplined, and they are in the upright. They're actually modest, and someone does want to be with them. You say you can't go back to your ex. You gotta stay with me. You can't go back to this woman. You cannot. And there's other some people out here pissed off because the King of Wands has emotions for a woman. Baby, I cannot. Okay. <laughs> oh, but brother, 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 you want that's being blackmailed. You're gonna have to move on because going back to the past is not an option. I don't care if this woman was your wife, girlfriend, concubine, whoever is in your past that you want to go to, it's not an option. Uh, whether this is a masculine, you being blackmailed, if you are someone there, whether you dated this woman or didn't date this woman, going back towards this woman is not an option. You're going to have to move on. That's what I'm being told to tell you. Push on forward. It's going to be hard to push on because there's some type of revelation that has taken place and you know that this woman is now what? Your soulmate, but it's the end of the road. It's the end of the road. You're going to have to move on. Like you ain't never, yeah. You're going to have to move on. This is the justice, the decision that has been made in this situation. Move on. You and never. When I say never, you and never going to be with this woman. Y'all ain't getting married, not having a family together, whatever. Yeah, honey. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Not having no family together. If you had kids together, it ain't no going to be, it ain't going to be like a family thing no more. Like this woman has moved on, moved on, and she's wishing you well. It's what, yeah, she's wishing you well. This is what I'm being told to tell you. She's wishing you well, okay? Wishing you well. You're out here hurt, crying because what well, you betrayed your past life soulmate or soul. I, someone was genuine with you. This is what I'm getting from this Six of Cups, and they were actually working with you. And you went what and indulged in these people's madness and fell from grace. Now you're what? Out here in devilish activities, feeling trapped. Yeah, you're where you're supposed to be because there's a karmic lesson that you need to learn. There will be no new beginnings with you and this woman. You, you, yeah, I'm telling you, there ain't no new beginnings with you and this woman. It's the end of the road. There's a new chapter that's happening in the both of you's lives, but it's separate. It's what I'm being told to tell you. It is separate. There is no rekindling any type of flames. Listen, I was about to say flames. Maybe you're trying to travel towards something. No, 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 no. Man down. It's the end of this union. This contract is over. And this decision has been made. It's final. It's final. You've been out here participating in rituals and stuff. Plenty of robberies. Right? A whole family has been plotting to rob a feminine energy. Make it make sense. A whole family? You mean not a member, not a not a one member, not a two member could say, hey, let's hold back. This is really hard for a reason. 
We've been trying to destroy this woman for a long time, and it's not working out. We're trying to block off her from coming to this woman, but it looks like when we get readings and stuff like that on them, it's still showing that she's going to be what? Self-sufficient and comfortable in life. Maybe we should hold back. Why are you all this invested in a high priestess? And then everything you do is leading to disappointment, and you always have to what? Try something else, and you'll keep trying and trying and trying. You don't got to try. Just go within and see things from a higher perspective. Accept the truth that the universe is giving you. That this ain't going nowhere. It's a woman out here being hunted by our ancestors. I think they came out in my... Oh, it's the truth. It's the truth. This came out in one of my readings. I think it was the... Uh, uh, like three or four readings ago. It's a woman being hunted. Oh, yeah. There's a woman being hunted by our ancestors. Someone's ancestors. They said, hey, <laughs> you see dead people. Ah! No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, they're upset. Upset, upset. And you're going to keep showing up, you, Mr. Uh, Black Mailey? Not Black Mail? I don't know what to call you. <laughs> Whoever this is that you decided to get or have a new beginning with, the one that you betrayed, your actual soul made for, they said you ain't going no mother effing where. They said, oh no, uh-uh. No, no, no. If you go anywhere, I'm going to tell her everything. The woman knows everything. And then you are out here living in fear because you don't want the woman to find out everything. She knows. The, the, she knows. She knows the truth. She knows. Like someone sees things in the dream state before they happen in the physical state. So she knows everybody that accepts that bribery, all the religious figures, the narcissists and things like that, that accept their briberies. And now they're binded to this organization and have to do stupid stuff, petty stuff for however long. Because I think this is a lifelong commitment that you all are in. I don't know what this is. You got, yeah, lifelong commitment. And this is judgment for the, by the ancestors. You all will be at a still mid and keep fighting amongst yourself. Because of what? Abuse of power. Abuse of power. It's all kind of folks in here. Yeah, this is absolutely an institution. And they thought they were going to be successful in destroying a feminine energy. And then they're talking about, oh, you know, since we couldn't defeat this person, now we can make them an offer. That woman don't want no offer from you all. None whatsoever. Keep your offers because that's, that, that's blood money. That's blood money. Don't send no one to this woman. Don't send nobody. She don't want no offers. Reject it. That woman, do not, I don't care if it's, I'm telling you the God's honest truth. That woman does not want an offer from you all. Whether it's a million dollars, a billion dollars, they don't want it. Job position, they don't want it. They don't want it. This is a whole institution that was behind this. They approached a king of a cups. King of cups. He will have been he will show up as a king of cups because this was your lover. This is someone that you had an actual love connection with. And I know sometimes, you know, when we go our separate ways from our exes, we want to act like we never cared for them. Yes, you did. You and this man care for each other. Because if you didn't care for him, yeah, you know it. This is a high priest that you all were coming after. Because if you didn't care for this man, you wouldn't have been with him for so long. It's a lot of emotions. He's crying a lot. He's crying a lot. Yeah, this man is not happy. I'm telling you, he ain't happy behind the scenes. But he's going to have to stay brave. Stay calm. Because he accepted that bribe. Yeah, honey, my ancestors, they're just like, girl, you're right on the money. He accepted that bribery. Like, some type of financial payment to move on. They paid him to move on. They said, we need you to reject her. Because this is how, again, cults behave. They come into your life and dismantle your foundation. They make it look like where they're giving you a dream life. They say, hey, we're friends. We're just investing in you. Whole time they're bribing you. And everybody in here that accept that bribery, oh, your life is falling apart. If you've been harvesting someone's energy to save your marriage, you're going to lose that marriage. If you've been harvesting someone's energies for your business, you're going to lose that business. It's going to fall apart. 
Ain't nothing that you put, nothing that gets in your hand is going to stay there. Like your finances are about to be left. Just a, you say you have it and like sin, it just right on through. I'm telling you right on through, right on through. Just know that. Oh, okay. Everything you all uh, gain off of this woman's energy without her permission, you're losing it. You're losing it. Oh, you are losing it. Cars, houses, lands, property, everything. You're losing it. Marriages, relationships, everything. You're losing it. So while you were enjoying it and this woman was in isolation and you all didn't care what was going on, what you were doing to someone, just know that, hey, tag them ancestors says that what is you all's turn. About to lose everything. Some of you may want to cut your losses and move on because it's only about to get worse for you. Nobody wants friendship from, from any of you. Oh, yeah, it's going to get worse. Someone wants to come in and tell the truth about what a betrayal that took place. Honey, we know, we know, we know, we know. Yeah, I'm telling you, we know. This is a high priestess you all were trying to come after. We know. I'm a high priestess. be knowing stuff before you even take action. They be knowing. And they'll put her into a chapter before you even know it. Example, a woman is with you. Let's say an empress energy or a high priestess is with you. And they know you're up to no good. Oh, they'll warn you while they're with you. So that what? When they leave, ain't no reason to come back. At least that's how I move. If I'm with you and I see you start start acting like a raggedy mother effer, oh, I am going to take the time and I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to take the time to heal while I'm with you so that when I leave, ain't no going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere near you. You can call, text, cry, crawl, run, do whatever you want to do. Nah. It's a no. You can cry blood. You can tell me you're sick. You're dying. That don't got nothing to do with me. Nothing. Because what? I'm moving on and I'm staying where I'm at. And this sister, she said, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I've come too far. Too far. Yeah, this whole group is fighting because... Listen, sister, high priestess, how you doing, girlfriend? There's communication coming to you that's going to be exposing the truth. There's some type of offer coming towards you, and it has these people up in their pennies. Their pennies are up in a bunch. They say, no. No. This woman did not defeat us. Oh, yeah, she did. And she is about to be abundant, abundant out here. Oh, she did defeat you all. She surely did. Sure. Oh, and it has them burden. Damn, someone is losing their mind behind the scenes. Losing their mind. Losing their mind. They said, no, we got to stop him from moving on to her. We got to stop him from going to tell her the truth. What truth are you trying to hide? Again, she knows. She knows. She knows. And she also knows this chapter is over. I don't know who. I don't know if this is a wife or a mother behind the scenes. Girl, you're just pathetic as can be. Just as pathetic as can be. Uh, I can't. I cannot. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's a mother figure, wife figure, baby mama going through, still mid, she's blocked. She don't know how else she can cause mayhem. Something, someone's not wanting to move forward with her. She's trying to trap a man, block him from going through some type of ascension, block him from ending a chapter with her. Girl, that man is moving on. He said, I am taking my offer elsewhere. I want to go and be with someone genuine. I want to go back to my soulmate. That soulmate said, nah, 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 nah. You, you is going to take a new path. Go on somewhere else now. Go on somewhere else. I think this message is coming out because there's a man that's stuck in something where he feels that he can't move forward. He can't go sideways anyways because they're holding something over him. Move on. 
Move on. Move on. This woman knows the truth. That's why you all got to be careful when you're accepting money from people. When you're accepting money from people, you got to be careful. I hear pissed off because a woman is not, she's not losing her mind. She's not angry. She's not sick. She's not sick. She's not nothing. All the projections ain't working. It ain't working. All the rituals ain't working. All the rituals are coming to an end because it's more frivolous at this point. It ain't going nowhere. Just costing you uh, money after money after money. Yeah, you do rituals. You're planning some type of what? Robbery. Say, so we're going to go in and we're going to do this. Planning to what? Steal someone's finances. Hinder someone's business. You're that pissed up, huh? You're that messed up, huh? Dang. Listen, I keep hearing about an organization that wants to come in and give a feminine energy an offer. They don't want no offers from you all. They don't want no offer from you all. The only thing that woman wants is to be left alone. She don't care about none of that. You got, they got money. We got money. We can give you a lot of money. I'm telling you, she don't care. She knows. Everything this man was doing, everything you all were doing, this sister knows. She's showing up here as a empress, queen of cups, high priestess. That's like double, triple on the intuition, the spiritual gifts. That is alarming that someone is that freaking gifted. That means this person's mind, their third eye is open 24-7. This is someone that has been in tune with the universe their whole life. It is one of those people that are around you that know stuff that they shouldn't know and it's alarming as heck. You may find it to be a little bit creepy. Is that, well, now, how the heck do you know that? I didn't tell you that. I was just thinking that. Uh, yeah, Intuition. Spiritual gifts. And he too, he has spiritual gifts, but he don't listen to his intuition. Maybe now he's starting to listen. He's been out here overindulging. He he was he wasn't genuine with this woman. It says someone gave to a masculine genuinely and he gaslighted her. He played with her emotions. Decided to go have one nice stands and two nice stands. Had a one night stand, got carried away, started participating in all kinds of stands. Two night stands, three night stands, Menage Trois, Menage Cat, Menage Sing, Menage Said, Menage We, all kinds of Menage, Menage. All kinds of activities. And now he's finding himself in conflict. And there's another man, uh, king of wands, emperor energy that wants to come towards a woman to what? Have victory, give them some type of work offer. Nah, you, you need to move on. I'm telling you, this woman don't want to work with any one of you. All, I'm tell, being told to tell you all you need to do is leave this woman alone and move on. There ain't no contract. There's no contract. Not with any of you. That this sister is focusing on getting to her destination. That's all she cares about. She said, I'm going to just keep my head down, keep pushing forward through all this nonsense these people are doing. Source already told me where I'm going and I will arrive at my destination. Uh-huh. I will arrive at my destination. So I got nothing to worry about. My enemies are already defeated. Let them have their fun right now. But the time is coming when balance will be brought in the situation. Right? All uh, the lies and everything will be exposed. This woman don't want a contract from any of you. She ain't trying to get married to anyone. Nothing. So I don't know if you're trying to move out here like a smooth criminal. I'm, I'm not going to tell them what I'm doing. I'm going to move at nighttime. I'm going to go stop by her house. You shouldn't even know where that woman stay. Hello. That woman don't want nothing. You don't want from destroying someone's life to now what? Wanting to give them a love offer? Do you know how stupid that sound? Oh, oh, oh. You know, now I know you're my soul twin. Or, you know, I know, you know, before I, I tried to destroy you, have you on a live. And now that I'm under judgment and I know your ancestors are protecting you. And you know how much of a BS. How do I say that? BSler? BSter? Whatever I am. Like, you know what I'm about. You know I got some healing to do. And I'm out here juggling. Probably paying for S-E-X, need to heal, but I'm refusing to, right? 
I want to come in and give you this offer so that you can go through some type of rebirth. You're the one that needs to go through a rebirth, sir. It says she don't want nothing from you. She don't want nothing from you. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Because sir, source is saying she's going to be good. They said this woman is, oh yeah. She's going to be good. There's something, sister, I'm being told to tell you, do it on your own. Do it on your own. Take the initiative and take the actions your ancestors are telling you to take. Move on your own. Create a path for yourself. Do not align yourself with any of these masculines. Anyone from this community, this is a karmic community. They think because they have money, that means they're in the upright. No, 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 no. Money don't mean you're in the upright. Money does not mean that you are in the upright. Someone, someone sold out their soulmate. I don't know what this, what was this? Like what? 10,000, 20,000. That's what you were worth. Uh -huh. And he was happy too. He, he said, she don't know I got money. She don't know I'm richer than her. <laughs> he was celebrating. Oh yeah. He was out celebrating. May have even went and got married to someone not knowing the whole time. It wasn't nothing but S-E-X. And now he's finding out in his bird. Yeah, he's birding. Listen, this man is living in fear. He said, I don't want her to know. I don't want her to know. She knows. She knows. I don't told you she knows. And she knows you don't got peace behind the scenes. None of you got peace. None of you got peace. She knows. You definitely went and committed yourself to someone. And you're finding out that person is a nightmare. Don't make, if you go to her, I'm going to expose you. I tell her everything you did. I got proof. Honey, you obviously don't know what high priestesses are capable of. The genuine one. Oh, especially the, the few that I saw that you went, went to to get readings and stuff. Oh, baby. Those mother suckers are gifted. Be on YouTube talking about all oh, light and love. Hi, folks. Hi. Welcome to my platform. I'm like, do these people know that these suckers can cause change? <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. <laughs> they said, hey, I can be in the upright or I can fix you real good. Oh, my Lord. Girl, yeah, you don't even know you're playing with the wrong energies. <laughs> That's just to say, uh-uh, uh-uh, I can't help you. I can't help you. <laughs> she said, oh, she got me looking into a fellow high priestess? This is a practitioner? This is who she got me looking into? Uh-uh, nah, uh-uh. Got me astral projecting and everything? Now, nah, sister said, I'm holding back. I ain't telling you a mother effing thing. <laughs> I'm holding back. Now that I know the truth, you've been having me while working against my kind. One of my kinds. Oh, no, 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 no. Holding back. I don't got nothing to say to you. I'm telling you. She don't got no good news for you. <laughs> she don't got no good news for you. She said, uh-uh. Girl. Nah, the truth is out. You were expecting to hear some type of good news. You said, hi, priestess, hi, priestess. What have you to tell me today? Will she be receiving the commitment? Yeah? <laughs> Will they be successful? Yeah? <laughs> Oh, Lord, I can't. <laughs> You've been out here trying to destroy someone's Ten of Pentacles before they even get their Ten of Pentacles, and now you're pissed off out here embarrassed, trying to stay strong. You're a strong woman. Strong woman. 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 More like wicked woman. Yeah, I said wicked, and the freaking devil came out. You're wicked as heck. Wicked as heck. 
You got a. This is what I picked up on. There's a queen of pentacles behind the scenes. Bad ass ish. I take crazy. This is someone's wife. Stalking. It's queen of cups reverse. Stalking. Queen of wands reverse. Stalk. It's a whole community of people. Stalking. And they're about to sit down and watch someone move on with their life. Life. Congratulations, fellow high priestess. You deserve it. You deserve it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, the ancestors decided you deserve every good thing you get in life. They said, oh, she's put in the work. She went a little bit above and beyond, so she definitely gets everything she wants. Definitely gets everything she wants. Oh, yeah, yeah. The truth is out about you all. You're not in the upright. You're not going to win this court case that you don't win and got on yourselves. Dang. Someone's taking you all to court? Oh. You ain't winning that court case, family. Family. This is about to be you all. Burden. Family. We're about to see how much of a family you all are. Because you ain't winning that court case. It's not in your favor. That's what you don't know. All the lies. You're living in fear is a reason. Fear. Fear is a dangerous thing. You're about to lose a whole lot. A whole lot. If you didn't know, not you know, tricker. You know very well who you are. Oh, you know what? My ancestors are funny. They don't bless me with the eyesight, everything. They bless me with everything but a voice to sing. What? Like, what's up with that? What's up with that? Like, I sound good with a paper bag over my head in the shower with the door closed. And the shower curtains pulled out. They said, hey, we got to make sure. Maybe I should even just put my head underwater to sink. That way nobody is <laughs> just <said> underwater. <laughs> or maybe I just need to leave my singing out in the cold. He said, girl, girl, stop it. Stop it. That is not one of our traits. So we're healers. We're not singers. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> You're losing your court case. And then you, you're having to kind of what? Back down. You got to back. This would have never happened if everybody just stay in their lane. You're on lane A, karmic veil, karmic lane. You stay there. Earth angels, high priestess, empress energy stays in light, light worker lane, light worker veil. Mm -hmm. Everybody minds their business. No one is tampering with anyone. Uh-huh. But you all just got to be out here with these rituals. Why are you people that's invested in rituals? It's not working. There's someone out here doing rituals and I'm pretty sure it's this group on a high priestess so that she don't get her downloads. It said, we got to make sure this person does not get their downloads. They cannot talk. They're doing some type of speech. Spell work. Ritual said, stop talking. Don't tell the truth. If you tell the truth, it dismantles what it is we're trying to do. You have the power of speech. You have the power to make judgment in people's lives. We don't want you talking because you're causing havoc in our lives by telling the truth and making these judgment calls. You deserve it. Your lives is uncertain. The pathway you are on now is uncertain. About to go through the dark night of the soul. Because you'll need to come back out while brands thinking new. Before you can have any type of genuine offers from the universe. Your whole lineage is under judgment. Right? And the universe, oh, they are committed to causing disaster. They say, until you all learn your mother having place to leave other people alone. Endings. Burdens. And you're all about to sit down. There's a business that's about to fail. You all have been doing something for a long time. This business is over. Oh, it's over. O-V-E-R-A. Over. And there's a king. I don't know who this king of swords is. Is stalking someone wanting to come and have a victory. This woman don't want to be associated with anyone from this community. Y'all need to leave this woman alone. 
a sister do not want to be bothered at all ain't looking for no money no cars no positions from you all nothing yeah she don't want to be bothered you you see her looking at this listen let me show you uh it says just looking sideways the, mm, i don't want to be bothered with you people whatever you did that's your business be gone i'm over this sisters out here being bougie she said mm -mm, i'm in my i'm off in my own little world doing my own little thing i don't got time for this i don't got time for this spirit tell these people i don't got time for this tell them i don't got time for this and spirit said yeah we told them but what we told them too is that they need to throw out with caution with any action they're taking because well, we're going to keep exposing them the whole family having a hard time recovering for what paying to cause hindrances in someone's life and they're angry disappointed bitter throwing fits behind the scenes because things are not going in their favor right mm. You may want to think twice about this robbery you're planning to what steal someone's money, have them trapped right in their mind and stuff, all the lies. It's that like you're repeating a cycle. It, it must be that you all don't want me to say something because every time I'm talking about that robbery, I'm losing my, you know, I'm stuttering or something is happening where it's like the worst and I wanted to come out. That's the God's honest truth. Clarity, truth and clarity. You're planning a robbery for someone. I just saw the tower. Yeah, you're planning a robbery. This is a whole family. Planning a robbery. Planning to rob a feminine energy so that it can be left out in the cold. Dismantle their foundation. Have them put out in the cold. You're playing this before. This is not the first time. You're playing this for this high priestess. And you're planning it again. Yeah, you're planning it again. Fighting. You don't try so hard so many times to dismantle someone's life and it ain't working. Damn, but we don't want her to have real love. We don't want her to be happy in life. And the most high said, Oh, well, thanks for letting us know, but we really don't care. Dumb ancestors are like, Yeah, we don't care about any of that. Someone's ancestors follows them around 24 7. There's like a. Uh, parents uh like someone has a sibling a brother that passed away and he like don't play he don't play at all like yeah he don't play he he's out he, lazy this whoever this brother is mm, 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 mm. he gets a thrill <laughs> He gets a thrill out of causing havoc in these people's lives. <laughs> well, he does one thing. He said, you going to hold back? You going to hold back? No, you're not going to hold back? Okay. I'm playing the next thing and see what I'm going to do to you. <laughs> Got these people living out here in fear. <laughs> this man is out here causing havoc. And this is someone's brother. <laughs> and then someone's parents like take turns. Oh my gosh. Someone is heavily protected. The, the level of protection someone has is stupendous. Someone does not have to be asleep to get downloads. They'll be sitting like myself. Like I'll be sitting on my couch a lot of the time. I'm, I'm, I feel like my couch at this point is some type of spiritual. Uh, 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 portal because like i'll be sitting on my couch and just get downloads like, oh okay that's what they're up to okay thank you for letting me know what's going on i need to be aware of that thank you there's a woman like that out here like a sister just be walking about and she'll just see things <laughs> there was a i think there's a karmic community trying to make someone seem like they were crazy they were imbalanced they were imagining things yeah, the court system does not believe you all, babies. They don't believe. Yeah, I said court system. The court system does not believe you all. They're balancing something out. This is, look, look, look. She's mentally unstable. We need to have her arrested. Why have you someone arrested just because you said they're mentally unstable? What does that got to do with you? What does that got to do with the price of tea in China? Someone is mentally unstable. Okay, leave them alone. They ain't bothering you. Don't bother them. 
Let them stay in their mentally unstable world. But no, when jealousy, envy, hate, greed takes a hold of you, this is when you go out of your way and tell the justice system, hey, this person is mentally unstable. They're telling lies on me. They're doing this. They're doing that. You start filing false police reports and things like that to have someone arrested. And the court system tells you what? You need to move on. We don't got time for this nonsense. You're trying to bring us problems. Whatever this woman owns that you're trying to what? Steal or hide? We're giving it to them. We're giving it to them. Oh, yeah. Causing illusions. That's what they know. They know you've been causing illusions. They said, no, 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 no. We don't want no parts of this nonsense. You've been wasting our time. Uh, the court system is putting their foot down. They said, we don't got time for this. Collective, there's an um, emperor behind the scenes. He's part of this Wahala. He sees you as wish fulfillment. You may want to hold back from this sucker. Hold back. Yeah, hold back. Hold back. You know why you need to hold back? Uh, Because this is him. Pull back. You don't need nothing from these people. Pave your own path. I'm telling you, he don't come with nothing but bad news. And someone is out here jealous because you have some type of a connection with someone else. He's trying to force a relationship with you because they know you have an abundant future. Yeah, you got an abundant future. Like you'll have limitless opportunities available to you and he wants to come and attach himself to you your opportunities are going to be available to you for the rest of your life you're about to be out here creating a whole legacy a whole legacy mm. Mm -mm -mm. you must have spoken the truth about a king of wands and a queen of wands there must have been some type of relationship between these two lord have mercy anyways folks We've had enough entertainment from Carmenville. We don't went from someone being blackmailed. Mm, 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 mm. This whole family. You're going down. You all may want to be, I don't know who this is, but you all need to be aware. Well, I guess you all need to be aware of each other because there's no loyalty amongst thieves. Oh, I said no loyalty amongst thieves and the score came out. Dang. Dang. Mm. It says exercise caution in dealing with others. You all may want to be mindful. You're planning some type of ending. All of this is going on. You're still planning endings for someone, for feminine energy. You're still planning to take someone out. And it's going to backfire horribly. Yeah, backfire horribly. You may want to take a new path. We got the tree. <laughs> that is crazy. Your whole life is falling apart and you're still out here planning an ending for someone. They said, we're going to creep. We're going to cause a natural disaster in her life. It's not natural if you have your hand in it. Like, you, can, you can't be out here trying to run someone over and then you say that's a natural disaster. You're doing it intentionally. That's not natural. <laughs> and by the way, Source is not going to let that happen. You're about to be locked down, clink, clink. <laughs> like Medea said, locked down, clink, clink. In that jail cell, prison cell for a long time. You may want to stay where you are. This is a full warning. Uh, you can, collective, Miss High Priestess, how you doing, girlfriend? How you doing? Hi. <laughs> it's an honor to be doing a reading for you. Uh Oh, well, for you all, because I remember I said lives. So there's a few of you going through this. Uh, you can't expect to be held in high honor. You are someone of high value. Okay. Um, you will be held in high regard when you get to where, well, not even just when you get to where you're going. I think there's some type of work you do now that's very much respectable. Yeah. It's very much respectable. Your position is established very well. You have a strong foundation. You got nothing to, to worry about. It said your desires, whatever you wish, will be fulfilled by the universe. And they are making sure you get all of your desires because you are someone very kind hearted. Someone revered in the spirit realm because you do things the right way. Right. You're committed to your path. OK. Um, if you're we have the key, if you're having any problems, they will be resolved. OK. Um, you may have some type of significant decision to make coming up soon, so pay attention to it. Um, don't rush into anything. Again, there could be someone in this community coming towards you with an offer. I would thread with caution. 
it may be best for you to go your own way. Trust the universe to guide you. Okay. If someone comes towards you with an offer, think about it. And if it just doesn't sit right with you, there is nothing wrong with rejecting it. The universe will always provide you a new offer. Okay. You may want to maybe a new direction, something. Okay. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.